Hey, welcome to Warehouse TV. Guess what's going to happen in today's episode? Well, I'm going to stick this on my head and then try and throw some stuff up and, and catch it in, in, in this. It's broken. See? Oh, hold on, that's in the wrong place. Is that any better? <sighs> right, moment of truth. I think it's fixed. I better put some tape on it as well. today's episode. All right, welcome to Warehouse TV. Uh, what's coming up in today's show? Um, we got, uh, we got, um, we got fast fun, get it done. Oh, uh, give it a go, Joe, and, uh, and we got and, and and try this at home. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's begin by praying, okay? Father God, we want to thank you that you are with us. Father, we thank you for this special day, Palm Sunday, when uh, those who welcomed you into Jerusalem, Father, they sung uh, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and Hosanna in the highest. Yes, Palm Sunday big day. All right, let's get on to the, with today's episode. Uh, with fast and fun, get it done. Yeah, there it is. Brilliant. Okay, in the bin. The bin's in the wrong place again. Um, I'll, try and cur I'll try and curve it. No. All right, I'm going to move it. I'll try again. One more time. No, still not. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, okay. All right. So we uh, it's uh, week four. So you guys should know where this uh, this memory verse is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, spin my Bible, and you have to look up this memory verse before my Bible stops spinning. Okay. So here we go. You are looking up Psalm 27 verse 14. Psalm 27 verse 14. Yeah. If I put that on the top of there, what happens? It's still spinning though, isn't it? Okay. There she goes. All right, let's say this out nice and loud. Okay? One, two, three. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, verse 14. That's, uh, that's the last week of, the, of that memory verse. We've got a new one next week. All right, good job. Okay, well, I could say what, it's, um, it's gonna give it a go, Joe. There it is, there There's Joe. You like Joe? Come a bit of a close up, man. You have seen him. There he is. <laughs> Super neat. Yeah, okay. All right, let's try to get in the bin. No. I know it landed on the shelf though. Okay, so give it a go, Joe. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a uh, eating challenge and, and, and this as well. Guess what I got here? Toast and jam. Mmm, I love toast and jam. Hey, well, I'm partial to a cup of tea as well. Mm. What's so special about that? Well, I was given a bit of a gift this week and um, I don't know what to make of it, really. I'll let you have, have, have a look, really. I'm gonna try it for the first time here in Warehouse with you guys, 
Ouais. Tea that tastes like toast and jam. Are you for real? Tea that tastes like toast and jam. All right. Let's uh, let's let's give it a try. Oh, oh no! I've just spilled tea everywhere. Okay, emergency, emergency. Um, uh, <laughs> oh no! Okay. There we go. That's not a great start, is it? Forever knocking stuff over. Okay, let's try and get this in a bit. Yeah! Congratulations! All right, back to where we were. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's get this open. Ooh. Okay, uh, if this was smell of vision I'd open it up and you could smell it. But all you have to trust me at what it smells like. Okay, first sniff. It smells like jam. <laughs> that is shot away. All right, what does the tea bags look like? They look like normal tea bags, right? Okay, I guess we've got to just give it a try. Tea bag there, put those back in there. Get a cup. Kettle. <laughs> All right, well, while we wait for the kettle to boil, um, let's have a go on this. I'm a bit, I'm a bit high, I need a lower stool. That better? Okay, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and catch the box of tea bags in my, uh, in my hat. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh, you ready? Ready? Well, I think, I think the tea's made. <laughs> the tea's made. Okay, here we go. Yay! Check it out! Oh, first, first try. Okay, great. All right, I think the, the tea's ready now. Okay, add milk. We try and flip the tea bag into the bin. Yes! Oh no, I missed, it's on, the, it's on the floor. Pretty bad. Okay, I've now made a cup of toast and jam tea. Let's, let's try it. They're hard to think again. I can I can taste that I can taste the jam. But is 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 a drink ever gonna taste like a uh, be like toast that's crunchy? I can sort of see what they mean. Brilliant. Okay. Well, well that, that's that's a. Uh, uh, Toast and jam tea. Amazing, really. <laughs> okay, brilliant. I'll put that back in there. Oh yeah, I had this idea. Um, what? <laughs> what? I try. I think I've got it on a bit wonky donkey. Okay, speaking of donkeys, let's try and catch a donkey. In the, in the, it, it, let's try. He's, he's coming up later. Let's try and catch him in in, in there. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, I got him. It's a bit, it's a bit stuck. Call the RSPCA. He's stuck in the net. Oh, not in net. Like a net. That's not the name of the horse. In net. <laughs> oh no, he's a proper. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. That was. That was that. Okay. I'll have one more go, but this time I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, 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 do it with a piece of toast, toast and jam. <laughs> All right, so here, here we go. All right, let's see if I can get this right. <laughs> oh, 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 please, Lord, let me catch it. Let me catch it, let me catch it. Uh. Oh, no! Oh, 
Okay, I, I haven't got jam all over me. I'll give another go. I think I threw the left hand as an issue. Right, here we go. No! Okay, third time lucky. And now I'm just gonna get <laughs> ja jam on the on the trolley. God, it's really hard. Yay! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! Brilliant. Okay, now it's time for um, it's time for uh, it's time for it's, it's time for try this at home. I, I didn't I didn't get it in. Okay then. So we are into week four of uh, the final week of looking at patience. And patience is summed up like this. Come on, you you say it. You've been you've been the ones we've been watching. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> good job. Patience is waiting until later for what we want now. Now, all through the Bible, before Jesus came, uh, men and women and children of God were waiting for the Savior to come. Hundreds of years, they'd heard. Uh, through reading the scripture and through prophecy and prophets coming that Jesus one day the saviour of the world would come and that he would arrive and today is a real special day because it is Palm Sunday that that day that uh, starts that holy week as we lead up to Jesus's death and uh, his resurrection on um, Easter Sunday. And um, this day is called Palm Sunday. And it's when Jesus arrives into Jerusalem. And it was a very powerful day. Yet Jesus was a lowly. Let's put his head down. He was a lowly saviour, humble and meek. And this is partly showed up when uh, Jesus asked his disciples to go and get him something. I wonder if you can guess uh, what it might be. Was it, um, was it, was it, was it a, McDon a McDonald's? Yeah. No, yeah? Or was it, uh, or was it the, the, the toast and jam tea? Or was it something else? What do you think? Very good, it was something else. This guy, they asked him to go and get a donkey. And uh, the thing is, this is a bit of a special mission because he said, go and find a donkey for me. And if somebody stops you and says, uh, hey, 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 what are you doing with my donkey? Leave that alone. It's mine. But Jesus said it to the disciples, the Lord has need of it. And sure enough, these, uh, these disciples, they went off to them to go and find Jesus a donkey. Now we're gonna do a bit of trick of the eye here and we're gonna see if we can get Jesus uh, on this donkey, so here, here we go. Here we go. All right, so if I put him uh, there, she is Jesus on the donkey. He, he is. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. We lined up right because I've got the monitor here. Jesus gets on the donkey and he starts riding into Jerusalem. And this, you know, it seems doesn't seem very triumphant, but all of a sudden, what starts to happen? is that people start coming out and grabbing uh, clothes and laying them in the path. Hold on. Laying clothes in, the, in Jesus's path and they start praising Jesus and they start getting branches and waving them. A bit like, a bit like that. And the kids come running out as well. Join with, uh, join with their parents, and they're worshiping Jesus. Let's up this, this this guy can do that. Ah, oh, sticky. And as Jesus arrives, he, he can't believe this is happening. He's, he's worshiping God, and they start to bow down and wave palm branches, and they're saying. Uh, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
they realize it's suddenly that it's like for many of them they're suddenly their eyes were opened this is Jesus this is the Savior and they worship him as he comes down the road into Jerusalem you know and it was so special so powerful that Jesus the Savior and it said it said it in Zechariah uh, 9 verse 9 rejoice I mean this was written way you know just <laughs> years before Jesus had arrived rejoice greatly O people shout for joy for the Lord your Savior is coming hallelujah the righteous one the victor uh, lowly, yet he is coming lowly, riding on a donkey. And I should give you this. Check it out. You can see it there. How the people worshipped, worshipped Jesus as he arrived into Jerusalem. So powerful. And people, they, they waited. To see Jesus they waited and they celebrated even though in their waiting and that's something we can learn today that as we uh, celebrate this week and Jesus is coming that worship of him have that in your hearts today and this week that you worship Jesus every day because you have a relationship with him that is given to you because of Jesus. The only reason we can believe in God and be right with God and be forgiven is because of Jesus, because of the Savior. And he came and he died on the cross, didn't he, for us? And he rose again. What power! And he went to be with God and that's where he lives right now. And he, he is there praying for you and I before God. It's so powerful. And that's why we worship Jesus and hold him as our glorious savior because without him, we can't be right with God. Because he asks us to, if you uh, can receive my love uh, for you, and my forgiveness for the things you've done wrong, I can forgive you and you can be right with God. It's so powerful when we believe in Jesus. So let's have that in our hearts today that we really worship him because he's worthy and he's worthy every day. That's why we uh, say, you know, come on, let's uh, pray today. Let's worship today. Let's read God's word today because it's so powerful. And Jesus is worthy of that every day. You know, these guys, uh, all the way through the Bible, people were patient and they celebrated the coming of the Savior, even in their waiting. So we can have joy even when we wait. Why don't we pray? Father God, we want to thank you so much for Jesus. Oh, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord. And Father, we just want to thank you for Jesus today. And that him, him being our saviour makes all the difference in our everyday life. Father, we can live holy and we can live pure and we can live godly. We can live the life because we know Jesus and we celebrate him today in Jesus name. Amen. Well have a great week. Jesus is with you every day and he's looking out for you and he's your best friend that you can turn to no matter what. Have a great week. Thanks for watching Where Is TV. Oh,